these are just exactly what I was talking about. These are the young people who've had multiple radiation exposures, and they're they're more weakened uh, and compromised than uh, older adults. It's it's the cum- cumulative effect in the the illnesses caused in our soldiers and veterans from exposure to depleted uranium and fission products in Iraq and Afghanistan, um, similar symptoms and illnesses have been reported. And the number one disease, the number one complaint diagnosed by the Veterans Administration in our soldiers and veterans from these radioactive wars is neuromuscular damage and polio was invented as a cover-up for the neuromuscular damage caused worldwide by nuclear bomb tests a medical doctor in canada dr levan was studying the uh, damage to the canadian population Um, from the huge nuclear bomb tests that the Soviets did in the Arctic. And one of them was such a huge uh, release of radiation that it uh, exposed every person person in the Northern Hemisphere to the equivalent of a a chest X-ray. And Dr. Levan was looking at illnesses and, and infant mortality, things like that, uh, where the the big clouds of radiation came down through central Canada, through Alberta. And if you read that paper, you realize that polio is the cover story. It's a, a it's an invented disease to cover up and hide the neuromuscular damage that was caused globally by the nuclear bomb tests. So uh, I'm not surprised these are happening. Um, It sounds like they may have mitochondrial damage as well. Uh, Mitochondria are little um, things in the cell that produce all the energy for the body. And I've seen Iraqi soldiers um, on panels that at conferences that I've been at where they 